men and women, I imagine. Uh, Alisa, let me start with you. Tell us about this mentorship. Why is it important? I think in any society, it's very important to have mentors. Uh, here in the UK, we've seen quite a lot. Uh, people, in fact, and living as well, mentoring all the people. And looking at the picture of Nigeria, where we have quite a lot of youth, uh, we're talking about more than 20 million youth. But the aspect is basically, now it is time for Nigeria as well to look into the bigger picture, where you get mentors, not just from the political world, but from the entrepreneurial business leaders, community leaders that can mentor our youth so that you give them new hope and aspiration on what they need to achieve in life. And I guess that's the reason why people like uh, Mr. Chika is here to expand on this with the support of their organization and their ministry and then working with the Nigerian High Commission to bring this to, to a fruitful end for all of us. Chika, we know you as a gentleman, so please explain to us what does this desk stand for in our own Nigeria High Commission of Mentorship? Just tell us what it's all about. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alistair. Uh, the Nigerian High Commission, as you know, is a diplomatic uh, desk and um, the National Mentorship Program is something different. Uh, mentorship has been here for a very long time, but uh, right now Nigeria is the only country that has bent over backwards to say uh, we will do what has not been done before. We will take all of, all of our citizens as mentees and will become the mentors. There is something we have worked on at the University of Oxford level. It's called the Government Mentorship and Monitoring System. That system is a system where you do a profiling of all of your citizens and know exactly where they are, who they are, what they do, what they need from you. Um, mentorship is... I'll be preaching to the choir talking about uh, mentorship. <laughs> okay. Uh, here well, well, how do we now get the Nigerian youth in diaspora to buy into this uh, program so that those who are listening to us, whether they are parents or they are youths, they will say, okay, this is the place to go, or this is, or you can get us on website, or this is how the interaction will come to pass. How do we do that? Uh, we have established a national mentorship register at the High Commission. Actually, what has happened in the High Commission is there is now a mentorship desk. And that mentorship desk is established so that the government of Nigeria can actually say to the people, Nigerian youth in diaspora, what is your problem and well, how can we help? So we have a national mentorship register at the High Commission. You, you, you know, you are buying me over with your explanation because uh, I remember the INEC uh, president, chairman came the other time and we were talking about uh, how Nigerians will vote. Now, for a Nigerian like me, I have no problem because I was born and bred in Nigeria. But how about Nigerians who were born and bred here? Are they real Nigerians uh, when they carry British passports, but they are bearing Chukuma or they are bearing Olojede? So we have that problem. But if they buy into this uh, mentorship, then they will have understanding of what it is to be a Nigerian, not just uh, my parents are Nigerians. Uh, but before we go into that, uh, Alistair, tell us what is the Nigeria Rise has been doing so far. Well, Nigeria Rise, as you know, over the last three, four years, we have been working endlessly. Uh, in fact, even we have an award where we recognize good Nigerians that are doing wonderful things within the community. And this is not nothing to do with uh, the political era or something like that, but good leaders good people doing something worthy to be recognized and celebrated. So that's what Nigeria Arai has been doing. But on the aspect of the mentoring now that we're talking about, actually on Sunday, uh, this Sunday, under the Nigerian National Mentoring Office, is to find uh, women, mothers, who have done something wonderful. Okay. In form or mentoring other people. And people out there who knows of any woman, any mother, actually can nominate, can uh, submit their names to other true band television or through the Nigerian High Commission so that these women can be celebrated mm -hmm. uh, this Sunday by, uh, by this organization. Because I think when we look at the bigger picture, really, our youth, either Nigerians or Africans, mm -hmm. have a lot of challenges in this country. That's, that's right. I mean, to a very great extent. Um, Priscilla, you just heard Alistair. They're looking for mothers to be celebrated. Um, how do you think we can do this, especially when uh, Anglicans are not voting for women as bishops? <laughs> <laughs> you, you think we have enough? Well, of course. I mean, I mean, I think mothers or women are probably the best people 
um, to provide mentorship simply because of the many different hats that they wear all at the same time and at a go. And um, you know you know what they say, if you educate the woman, then you've educated the community. Um, I think they are probably the best place people to pass on okay. the necessary um, um, tools that is needed as the young person is growing up. And there are many, so, so many women um, in our society, not so much those that have um, um, gone wrong and then been reformed, mm -hmm. but there are so many others that are genuinely um, progressive, achievers Absolutely. and and leading and and they should be recognized and they should and they should um, take that place so yes I salute and welcome Chica, welcome that is there a website or are you developing one at the moment because the youths they know how to make use of iPad iPhone I everything you think that would be an easier way to communicate for them to refer us to them so that they may know what's going on that's where they can vote that's where they can talk is, is that in the pipeline yes but before I talk about website is also to add to what Priscilla has said. Um, we actually have in the Honorable Minister of Youth Development okay. in Wabdi Karim. Uh, he will be in the uh, High Commission on the 25th, hopefully. And also we'll be having the Special Advisor to Mr. President on Ethics and Values, Dr. Mrs. Sarah N. Jubril. Okay. She'll also be there. Yeah. Uh, we have done um, a thing like this in Nigeria where we honored women mother mentors and um, this time we are going to be honoring and appreciating people in the UK. Actually UK uh, the honor and the uh, appreciation we'll be doing on the 25th is just to actually buy people in into this. It's an enormous thing to do when you talk about one million Nigerian uh, mentors for 10 million, million mentees. mentees, Nigerian youth. Um, I'm uh, very um, fortunate to, for this program as well. Mr. President will also be here. And then, um, we'll Do you think we can have a chance to interview him? Well, I don't know. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, for I you, our viewers, uh, if you want to ask Chika a question, he is the uh, chief mentorship officer here. Uh, he can answer some of your questions. If I don't find the questions attractive, I will have to veto it. But let's make it interactive. What question will you want to ask? Are you a youth listening to us? Or do you, have you been looking for a mentor? And, or do you think uh, you want to buy into it? Or you know many women who have been waiting for this? Why don't you give us a call now? The number is on your screen. Or you can email us on NigeriansDecide.yahoo.com so that he can take your questions now. Uh, what, how do you feel? Well, we have a caller. Good morning. Who is calling? Yes, have you turned down your the volume of your television, please? Yes, I've done that. Your name, sir, and where are you calling from? Uh, me calling from London. Okay, what's your question, sir? Uh, I just want to talk about this issue of mentorship. Yes, mentorship. Yeah, um, uh, the gentleman there. Is that uh, Mr. Chika Sylvia or Legend? Yes, yes, yes Mr. Chika. Yes. Uh, what I want to ask him first is this program emanating from Nigerian government? Okay, hold on. Is this program emanating from the Nigerian government? Just hold on. Um, is emanating from everybody. What's his name again? Uh, is uh, yeah. Femi. <laughs> Yemi. Yemi. Is emanating from everybody. The dearly of the Nigerian people is for uh that for 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 the people to have mentors so it's meant from everybody but of course the government is giving an enabling environment for this to happen and um, I, I can also tell you that the national mentorship program is actually citizen centric and it has come from the civil society so yes it's emanating from everybody and i know why i say that it's from the government and from the civil society as well okay your next question okay what well, my comment my comment now is you see at least, let me just put it at 40% of Nigerians here. Yeah. They left the country, they left Nigeria, not because they want to, but because of the situation back, many of us decide to run down to this country. Now, so many of us, the 40% I said, they are having one problem or the other, getting their feet right in this country at this point in time. Mm -hmm. If you now want them to come back to Nigeria, 
of a sort of Nigeria program, what do you think they would, would be in the back of their mind? That, look, this is a program coming from Nigeria, government from Nigeria. If this program is going on by Alistair Shirode, I tell you, many people would believe him. Because he knows our president here. He knows everything we've gone through. Now, you are coming from Nigeria, or basically, you might be a resident here, and you think that you're the program coming from Nigeria, government from Nigeria. Nigeria. Now, you are coming from Nigeria, or basically, you might be a resident here, but the program coming from Nigeria, government. Now, our experience in Nigerian house, the Nigerian house we are telling us to come before. I tell you, if you interview a no, let me let me let me correct you. Let me correct you. This is not done by the Nigeria High Commission. But if anything is coming from Nigeria, the first port of call is the Nigeria High Commission. So there is a desk there, but it has nothing to do with the High Commissioner. You get you get the difference. Yes, yeah, I understand what you mean. Okay. I understand. Even before you tell me that, I understand that we are separate. Okay. The, the, the picture, the stereotype we have about going to Nigeria house, I'm telling you, that alone might deter some Nigeria from going there. Because I believe in their head that going into Nigeria house, they know the problem they will face straight away. They will not even separate the Okay, you know what? I'm, you, are, you are breaking, but I'm going to ask Alistair to answer that question because Alistair knows about the. Thank you very much, Amy. Uh, Alistair, you know about the Nigerian house and the mentality of the Nigerians living here. Do you think going to Nigerian house will deter people? Because Chika may not know. Well, uh, he has his personal opinion and well presented by him. Mm -hmm. But really and truly, because the, this mentoring scheme is totally independent of the Nigerian High Commission, as Chika has mentioned. But in the sense that logistically, and in order and to make first, yeah. uh, to find arrangement that can pay and be beneficial immediately, I think it is good for it to be in the Nigerian High Commission. And then at the later stage, if then people feel like uh, there is a need, but at the end of the day, you remember that most uh, uh, volunteer or free organization need support. Now, if this organization is not able to get the support needed financially, for example, for them to be totally independent, then definitely it is much more ideal for it to be at the Nigerian High Commission. Well, if you want to ask further questions, you can still do so now. We'll give you a few minutes or you can email us and we'll read out your email because we have Chika here who is the Chief Mentorship Officer. And I know from my vantage point as someone who interacts with a lot of youths in the last 10 years that a lot of Nigerians have been involved in murder, in stabbing, in ganging, and they've been in, in problems. I remember the whole of the London church was praying for the Nigerian youth about seven years ago when every gang murder involved in Nigeria. It was a pathetic and sad situation. And if we can have mentors for them, uh, this will be very good. If you want to ask a question now, you are a mother listening to us and said, how will my child be involved? How can I get more children? Where are you going to be attending to different gangs in different neighborhoods? Because it's about mentoring. We have to go to them. This is your time to ask your question. Or you can email us and we will read it out immediately. Uh, or you can Skype us. Or the telephone number is on your screen. So you can call us now and ask for further questions. Uh, the website. How soon will it be running? Because that's where the youths can go easily. Yes, the website, uh, we actually have a portal. Uh, so, I mean, website is sometimes, um, the portal is something bigger than just a website. We have a portal where uh, we have all of our mentors domiciled and we are working with the Nigerian Bureau for Statistics to get it done. Okay, let me quickly yes. cut you short before we lose this caller. Yes, hello, good morning. Who's calling? Yeah, good morning. Speak me from here, Mr. Salusi. Okay, where are you calling from, ma'am? London. London. Yes, your question. Oh, comment. I would like to support and congratulate them for the program. Thank you. It's a good initiative. Thank you. And it's something that we should work with to make it successful. We have the I Youth Unemployment in Nigeria. So it's an opportunity for us to engage positively and connect back with Nigeria and put something back. Other countries like Nigeria, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't do it. Okay. So I'm sure we can make it successful. We need to be positive. What, what's going to be your contribution towards it? Of course, I'm involved with it already. Okay. And I'm going to get other people to recognize other people. We need to take ownership of it. 
Okay. The government cannot do everything. As mothers, we have to nurture the youth and turn things to and reduce crime in Nigeria and make our system to be positive. Okay. Yes, we can do it. That, and Nigeria Commission is a change and they definitely need to have a positive attitude. About okay. Nigeria Commission, they do wonderful things now. Okay. Let me ask you one question before you go, ma'am. How do we now get to meet with these Nigerian youths here in England or in the UK beyond England? You think we there's a strategy in place that we can reach out? There's a first book already set up called One Million Nigerian Mentors. Yes. People can log in on their Facebook app already. Okay. And I'm sure there will be card, there will be a lot of facilities. Yes, we can do we get to use the students, Nigerian students in the UK also. So okay. it's something that we need to be positive and make sure that we can make it happen. Oh, thank you very much, ma'am, Mrs. Sanusi. It's been so, nice been talking to you. Yes, we just give one more call. Out. Yes, Alistair, you want to say something? I know. No, she has made the uh, right. She's made it. Yes. Uh, can I give you? Okay, I'll take this call and then we'll we round it up. Is that okay? Okay. Good morning. Who's calling? Good morning. Yes. I'm Julius. I'm, I'm calling from London. Okay, go ahead, Julius. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, you will not have any, any, any of you who can answer this question. It's a general question to point to all of you. Okay, good. You have the tech because you ask the question now. How can we use it? How can we get to this uh, young, young, uh, young uh, youth to be mentored? We can get to them through their parents. Therefore, it is better to, better to mentor ourselves, to mentor the parents so that the, the parents may mentor their, their children. Because some of these children, they, they don't know where the Nigerian party is, and at the same time, some of them they don't even have Nigerian passport. Mm. So they will not tell you that that's the way. It is their parents, you have to mentor their parents so that they, their parents can mentor them. Okay. okay, thank you very much, Julius. Um, I, I leave the last uh, word to you for this segment. Uh, Chika, what else do you want to tell, or what, if you want to respond? To no, that? I want to respond. Please yeah. do. This is very, this is very interesting. Mentoring the parents so that they might. Uh, yes, because it will mentor. help. It will alleviate many problems. Yes, I accept. I accept that should happen, but at least we will have a platform for this to happen, and that's what we have done. And then also, I want to respond a little bit to what. Um, the last co the color before yeah, before this, yeah. I see. Yeah, me see. I need to say I really like the line that she said. We need to own it. Uh, I'll be leaving the UK, and I'll be going to 102 countries. Actually, the mentorship desk is go is in 102 countries of the world, and I have to go in all of these countries and make sure that this is happening. Nigerian in diaspora remains Nigerians. Nig youths. It remains youth. Whether they have a green passport, a red passport, a yellow passport, whether they are British citizens, whether they are American citizens, a Nigerian remains a Nigerian. So that is exactly... Did you watch the October 1st uh, response of American youths uh, to the National Independence Day? Um, the information of the minister was there, Labra Maku. I saw tens of thousands of American Nigerian yeah, youths, youths yeah. and mm -hmm. they were ecstatic about Nigeria. It was, I've never seen it in this country, yep. but the American Nigerian youth came out and they were dancing on the air. That can be put into this. Uh, but, uh, you think there's a lot of resources to, we can put into this? No. Uh, like I said, um, I was. I wanted to tell you about what I like. The uh, YMC said that we should own it. Own it. Now, own it means it has to be citizen centric. It must come from the people. Resources. No, Pe things don't happen now in the world with resources. Um, the idea that if you pump money into something, it works. Is How do you travel to one hundred and two countries without no, resources? No, no, no. You, you already said the resources that will go into it. Oh, no, it's, defi it's definitely, different, yeah. definitely, the stop of funds will, will be fine, but what really motivates people will not be the funding and will not be the resources. And um, I keep using this analogy that, you know, you don't wash bitter leaves oh. with uh, water. You actually will squeeze out the water from it, and then you can now put in water. Whenever I go to a nation, whenever I go to a country like I, have, I am now in the UK, I try to see if people can buy it, if people can own it, if people can do it. 
And a lot of people want to mentor. Yeah. A lot of people are ready for this. In fact, a lot of people are ready to give their time, give their money, and actually be mentors. So resources will not be something that will hold us back. What will be holding us back is the um, passion if we own it. Of course, I'll be going around, and most of these resources also, some of them are mine. Okay. Oh, yes. Some of them are yours. Yeah, I mean, you, are you say that again so that yes. everybody yeah, will hear. Yeah, most of them, uh, the are mine. Actually, I work with um, what about uh, five life ministries, and all of the ministries, uh, for the first time, what they do is that they cater for their overheads in the interministerial. We have an interministerial for the national mentorship program. We have inter, um, uh, we have extra ministerial uh, agencies like the BPSR, like the NBS, like the Commission for Refugees. By the way, mm -hmm. we have the IDP pro program okay. in the country. All now. right, yeah. uh, time will not permit us to uh, go into the detail, but uh, you've uh, really come to explain to many uh, chief yes. mentorship. Uh, yes. Uh, office, the National Mentorship Office, and I'm sure many Nigerians would like to buy into it as soon as there is a website so that they can key into it. Please make this a priority and do watch out for 1 million Nigerian mentors looking for 10 million Nigerian yes. mentees. You may be one of them, your children might be some of these uh, mentees and uh, we want to, on behalf of Nigerians living in diaspora here and the UK, thank you very much Mr. Chika Silvia Olejime and we hope to see you very soon. And please, when Mr. President comes, we like to interview him on this program, you decide. You don't go away while I go away because I need to go away, but you mustn't go away because you decide.